In today's video, I'm going to be going over incredible restaurants you must try in Las Vegas. Let's get right into it. Starting out with my first recommendation, this is Bungalow Coffee in the Arts District. The Arts District is located between the Strip and downtown, just a few blocks away from the famous Pawn Stars Pawn Shop. The coffee shop is not only known to have some of the best coffee in the city, but their food is also amazing. All the food was pretty darn good, but there was two dishes that really stuck out to me. First, there's the deluxe croissant sandy, and when I took a big bite, the bread was incredibly soft. It felt light on the stomach and felt healthy. It was delicious. You have to try it. Next up is the star of the show. Wow. This is the ham and goat cheese panini. It is nicely toasted, had a nice crunch, and the flavor was absolutely incredible. Now, let's move on to my next recommendation. One of the best Italian restaurants in the city, according to the locals, I had to try it. This is Capo's Restaurant and Speakeasy. To find the entrance to this hidden gem, go to the right side, look for the door that's marked with the Red Sea. Go inside, ring the doorbell, and wait to be greeted, and it's all part of their unique experience. First, you absolutely need to try their famous meatballs. They were so tender, they practically melted in my mouth. Another dish that stood out to me was the sawed off sausage and peppers, a phenomenal choice, don't sleep on it. The chicken parm is another highlight, it was thick, juicy, and the sauce was super delicious. Sauce so good you almost wanna drink it, and that goes for any of the plates here. And here's a bonus, while it's technically not food, it's still a great recommendation I think you should try. This is the strawberry cheesecake martini. Not gonna lie, it's pretty dangerous cause it goes down smooth and it's pretty sweet. Moving on to my next recommendation, let's talk about Happy Camper. This is a brand new spot that is buzzing with energy. It was packed when I visited. Located outside the Fashion Show Mall, it's right across the Wynn Resort on the Strip, catty corner to the Encore Resort. Happy Camper has a fantastic bar area with great views, turf flooring, a beer pong table, cool decor featuring lights and disco balls. Their cocktails are also super fun. The ones you gotta try are the Trashy Tea and the Shambong. This one's pretty cool because you drink it like this. And when it comes to food, you gotta get the pepperoni and ricotta pizza. It's drizzled with honey, but it's a must try, trust me. For a healthier option, the steak cashew salad is also excellent. There's also a burger called the Big Happy Burger. It's served with Thousand Island dressing on the side. It is incredible. Dip the burger in the dressing and it takes it to a whole nother level, trust me. And if you're a fan of corn, try the corn cheese dip. It's called the queso elote dip. It's a delicious appetizer to start your meal. Next restaurant you gotta try at is Inside Shaq's Fantasy Lab. Also located at the Fashion Show Mall, you can walk inside from the parking lot by Forever 21 or from inside the mall. So they're mainly known for their walkthrough experience, but what a lot of people don't know is that you can actually enjoy brunch here. If you haven't tried the experience yet, I recommend it. I'll be discussing that in a later video, so make sure to subscribe for updates on that. If up to this point you have received value, do me a huge favor, pause the video, subscribe, hit the like button, and drop a comment saying chicken nuggets. It really helps my channel grow. Now let's get back to the video. The lobby and lounge area here is pretty unique. The walls are covered with pictures of dogs. There's majestic furniture. Creates a pretty unique and kind of like trippy-like experience. Some of the standout brunch items here were the stuffed croissant flights. I also really enjoyed the buffalo mega mac and cheese. Another great choice is the milkshake. The taste was great, it looked fantastic. However, I do wish the donut was a little bit softer. I mean, it wasn't hard or anything. I just wish that it was like a freshly baked donut. I feel like that would make the experience in the milkshake 10 times better. Next up is Perry's Pizzeria and Tap House. It's a new addition to the Strip with a fantastic lounge area on the top floor offering amazing views of the Strip. I can honestly sit up here for hours. They share a location with Whataburger on the Strip. And yes, Perry's does have locations apparently in four other states, but this was my first time I visited and I was genuinely impressed with their wings. The flavor I recommend you get is the Buffalo Blue Cheese Wings. Another recommendation was their fried dough. Also came with dips on the side. All of them were fire. Next is supposedly one of the best all-you-can-eat sushi spots in town, according to the locals. This is Neko Supremo. Restaurant is from the same owners as Neko Sushi. Apparently, Neko Sushi wanted to expand, but they couldn't get the location right next to them. So what they did was open open Neko Supremo in the same shopping center. Now let me tell you about the incredible deals they have here. All you can eat sushi for only $29.99 with a 90 minute limit, but if you go Monday through Thursday from 10.30 p.m. to close, all you can eat sushi for only $21.95, that's an amazing deal. And listen to this. 
Here's a little bonus. They offer all-you-can-drink sake and cocktails every day from 12 p.m. to 5 p.m., only $9.95. If you ever want a great spot to pregame without breaking the bank on the strip, now you know where to go. Your meal also comes with ice cream at the end, so don't forget to ask. Percy had the Thai iced tea and my wife had the strawberry flavor and they were both delicious. And now for the next spot. This is Pizza Rock. It's just a block away from the Fremont Hotel on the Fremont Street Experience downtown. We sat down outside at their cool patio area, but they also do have an inside restaurant if you want to sit down and enjoy a full pie. But if you want to enjoy pizza by the slice, they have a cool walk-up bar both inside and outside. So technically, the restaurant part of it is called Pizza Rock and the walk-up bar is Slice House. Both locations are owned and ran by Tony, who's a 13-time world pizza champion. With that many titles, you know he has to know his stuff. What I really like about this place is they have a variety of pizza styles. Personally, you can't go wrong with the Detroit pepperoni style or the grandma style. And if you want to go for something a little bit spicy, the picante slice is a must try. Up next is possibly one of my favorite restaurants of all. This is Fuku Burger. They serve Japanese gourmet burgers. Originally, they started off as a food truck concept. Now they have two locations and it's a local's favorite. Burgers on the menu look crazy and they come out looking exactly the same. So they have this thing where after you order, you have to give them a funny name. If you can't think of one on the spot, you spin the wheel and get whatever name it lands on. I personally got to try the number one, the number two, the number three, the number six, and the Naga Dog. Yes, I know that's a lot of food. Do not judge me. The number one is the Fuku Burger. I think it's perfect for somebody who doesn't want to get out of their comfort zone is just looking for something a little bit more classic. I would compare it to like a Whopper. The number two reminded me of a hangover burger, also a must try, pretty drippy, juicy. Number three had a Japanese barbecue sauce that kind of had like a tiny little kick to it, but it was bomb. Number six was one of my personal favorites. You cannot go wrong with this one. It's just the classic crispy chicken, but it looks crazy like a flying saucer. And this is the Naga Dog. I really, really like this one. Be careful though, because it is spicy. But if you're into spicy foods, this is one of the best spicy foods I've ever had. 